Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to a daily dose of joy. <clears throat> I'm still a little hoarse from some shenanigans, a whoopsie daisy story that we had down here at the farm last week, weekend, not that long ago, just multiple days back. And um, maybe a wee bit hoarse and it's hung around just the, because I was all out. So I'm gonna tell you the whoopsie daisy story and celebrate with you guys. Um, one of the reasons for whoopsie daisy stories is to focus on our resilience. Life happens, challenges happen, new things, the unexpected, whoopsie daisies, wobbles. Um, and also life is full of smooth sailing and things going exactly our way. But the wobbles aren't bad. That's part of exploring a new world, taking chances, having adventure. Um, and so we were down at the farm with a friend's dog and my puppy, um, which we hadn't done before. And the baby ducks that we had raised a couple of summers back um, have gotten more and more bold, coming up from the pond all the way up to the house. And they're this cute little quacking foursome. And uh, yeah, my friend's dog was just being a normal dog and ran and took off after the ducks. And I had an appropriate adrenaline reaction. I saw him and he didn't come when I called. And so I raced and sprinted. It's like a good 400 yard dash, full out, full out. Speaking of dogs, <laughs> the beautiful ones are awake. Hi, can you say hi to everybody? Oh, you can't see his beautiful face very well. Yeah, can you get him in there? <laughs> Aw, that's the puppy. That's the guy. <laughs> he and my son was just got him snuck in the window. <laughs> Very big windows for the porch. He just popped in there. Yeah, I had the window open and they decided that would be a fun hello. <laughs> so it wasn't my dog chasing because Bane is doing great. He's becoming quite a gentleman. And he responds on my recall, even when he's excited. But this was my friend's dog and she was in the house and couldn't hear me. And I am running full out, screaming at the top of my lungs, the sweet dog's name. And he gets to the ducks and their shenanigans. <laughs> Luckily he has was being more playful than anything else. But um, yeah. I mean, the duck even, I've never knew the duck, did the duck sort of played dead. <laughs> I was like, oh, but the duck was totally unharmed. Thorough inspection, duck was fine, but he played dead for a minute and then popped up and waddled away. Um, so it was a real, real shenanigans going on. And my friends come out and as they're coming out, I'm so far away, they can't hear me. They don't know what's going on. And I just yelled back to them, get the blank easy go which is like a car like a farm little truck runabout thing because i knew she needed to get to her dog as soon as possible <laughs> but i don't swear too much <laughs> but that adrenaline was pumping <laughs> and my friends were like what <laughs> and so for the rest of our visit they kept saying go get the blank easy go <laughs> just making fun of me having a good laugh. So we have a lot of laughs around this thing that at the time created a lot of uh, adrenaline. And part of what I wanted to celebrate was literally probably maybe 10 minutes after, I could already feel my heart rate go down, a lightness and ease, I could feel the adrenaline and the fight or flight kind of chemistry fading away. Yes, amen and hallelujah that I had a normal adrenaline response, but my baseline is set with dose chemistry. 
My wiring is set. My skills are set to course crack back to calm and peace and ease. And it was so fast. And once it happened, I was saying to my friends, I was like, I haven't felt that way. I couldn't remember how long it had been. Literally, maybe years, at least a year since I'd had something that needed a legitimate reason for me to have a kind of fight or flight dose of adrenaline, you know, kind of like run from the bear. That's really the only time we need to have that can chemistry dump in our system is like, oh, time to put on the overdrive. And usually we're not dealing with life threatening situations like that. We may have a deadline at work, we misinterpret it as that, but really it's very quite rare. So it felt so good to acknowledge and celebrate with you guys that brain rewiring works. Trust me, it works, it works, it works, it works, it works. And um, eventually it'll be a faded memory having those kind of reactions. And just to give a point of reference, years ago, I lived in a chronic state of fight or flight. So every day it was a, my heart was racing higher, my cortisol was high. Um, yeah, everything would set, set that off because it was just kind of stuck on. And uh, that can change. That can change, that can change, it can change for you too, trust me. Just wanted to celebrate that and uh, laugh at that whoopsie daisy story and celebrate resilience. And that's one of the great things about practicing the whoopsie daisy story tool is that ability to use laughter after something like that happens and more quickly start helping your body create the positive neurochemistry. So. Keep on, keep on playing with the whoopsie daisy tool. Let's take three solidarity breaths. Mm. 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 Together we rise. May today be full of surprises and delights. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning.